Welcome. In this module, we will transfer the design to the PCB. Firstly, we will review the layer stack and then resize the board from the default size. Opening up the PCB, we see it represented as a black rectangle. While not needing to do this, I prefer to set the origin of the board to the lower left corner. To do this, open the Edit pull down menu and select Origin and then select Set. Now with the mouse, we can place the 00, zero coordinates for the board by selecting the bottom left corner of the PCB and then left mouse click. Note, we can zoom in and out of the view by holding the control key and scrolling the mouse wheel. If the shift key is held down, the mouse wheel will scroll left or right. With no keys, the mouse wheel scrolls up and down. To view the layer stack for the PCB, click on the design pull down menu and select layer stack manager. This opens the layer stack manager window. Here we see the various layers for the default two layer PCB showing silt screen and overlay. If needed, we could add additional layers by right mouse click and selecting either signal layer or plane layer. We won't add any layers as this design is easily laid out on two layers. There are some additional preset layers stacks available from the tools presets pull down. As you can see, the layer stack is defined by a document within the project. It is important to save this file for any changes to take effect on the layer stack. Now returning to the PCB, we will change the board size from the default dimensions. We will be changing the board size to 3.5 by 2.5 inches. To make this easier, we will use the grid and set it to 500mm step sizes. Open the Properties panel if it is not already open and go to the Grid Manager section. Here we can set the grid on the PCB to a convenient number like 500mm. This will make sizing the PCB quicker and more accurate due to the larger granularity of the steps. Double click on the grid entry to allow for editing of the values. We will enter 500mm and leave the link so that both the X and Y steps are the same. Select OK to accept the changes. This will now enable us to snap to the grid and move in 500mm steps. To edit the board shape, we need to enter into the board planning mode by hitting the number 1 key. With the PCB now green, indicating we are in the edit mode, we can directly work on the PCB using the design pull down menu. Select the edit board shape option to allow us to pick on the vertices of the board and move them using the current step of 500mm. We can adjust the height and length of the board using the X and Y coordinates as a guide. The coordinates reflect the current mouse position. We will set the board to the desired 3.5 by 2.5 inch size and then deselect. To switch back to 3D or 2D, hit either the number 3 or 2 key. Now we are ready to transfer the design to the PCB. Going to the schematics, click on the design pull down menu and select update expansion board PCB. If the project was not compiled, the tool will compile it and create a unified data model of the design. The unified data model or UDM provides the linking between the schematic and the PCB. The schematics consist of the design whilst the PCB is empty at this stage. The update to the PCB section will cause an ECO to be generated representing the differences between the schematic and PCB. Clicking on Execute Changes applies the ECO to the PCB. Once the ECO has executed, it is a good idea to click on the Show Errors box to ensure there are no errors during the ECO process. At this stage, we have a two-layer 3.5 by 2.5 inch PCB with components showing their connectivity. As you can see, the parts are placed off the PCB and are in two groups called rooms. These rooms were auto-generated based on the schematics. Each room contains parts from that particular schematic. We will illustrate the use of rooms in a future module. This completes the transfer of the design to the PCB. In our next module, we will address the rules and their role in Altium Designer.